Hey folks, that guy back again. Thanks for clicking on my link. I had a scenario the other day where we integrated the contacts in Business Central to Dynamics 365. This is a pretty common integration that we do. However, a lot of times the contacts in Business Central are accounts receivable contacts or contacts that have been poorly entered into the system. Most of the time, we recommend not integrating contacts in Business Central. When I moved over the contacts, there were many blank first and last names, and some of the first names even had a hyphen in them. This wasn't going to be very helpful for people doing quoting and field service work orders. So I simply added a filter to the system views so that the customer service and quoting staff wouldn't see a bunch of blank full names when they clicked on the contact entity. So in this video, I walk you through how to add a filter to the system views. So let's get started. All right, in this example, I need to modify some conditions on a view for a particular customer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm going to edit the app. So we're gonna to go to apps. This is from the makepowerapps.com um, interface. We're gonna come in and we're going to select the app and we're going to say edit. We're going to search for the entity. So it's the contacts entity and we're going to modify the views. And the view I want to modify is the work order lookup view. Um, just some background, the account is integrated with uh, Business Central. Business Central is kicking back a whole bunch of blank contacts because of the way it works. And we don't wanna see those when we look up a work order. So very easily, we're just gonna go in and modify the view just by putting a condition against it. So we come in, we select, we navigate down to edit filters on the right side of the page. And we're gonna say, yes, we're gonna leave the condition where it's active. And we're gonna add two more conditions to it. So two rows, and the first one is going to be first name. So I just want where the first name contains data and the last name. contains data. Go and select both of them. Say we're going to make a group. We're going to change it from and. We want it to be or. So where the first and the last name contain data um, and where the, uh, where the uh, status equals active. Click OK and I'm done. Save it and then publish it. And it's that easy, real quick and easy way to uh, modify your views. That's a system view, by the way. So modifying a system view uh, so that it hides the blank contacts if there's no first and last name. 